The Government of Canada has committed to co-developing legislation with Inuit, First Nations and Métis to implement the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples in Canada. Inuit fully support this. However, we are deeply concerned about the federal government's approach to achieving this important goal. The Declaration affirms the individual and collective rights of Indigenous peoples worldwide. It has two main goals, to prevent the types of human rights abuses our people have experienced in the past from ever being repeated, and to systematically implement our existing rights in nation states. The government intends to use Bill C-262, which died on the order paper in 2019, as the basis for the new bill. But Bill C-262 is flawed. It lacks an independent enforcement mechanism. This means that the rights affirmed by the UN Declaration would lack the force of law. Under this approach, our human rights would have the status of aspirational objectives within an action plan developed by the government. It would be up to the government of the day to determine whether Indigenous peoples are able to enjoy our human rights. Canadians have seen what such a bill would look like in action. British Columbia passed its own Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples Act in 2019. It is nearly identical to Bill C-262. In that province, the government and members of the Wet'suwet'en First Nation have each applied profoundly different interpretations of the government's human rights obligations. What we have seen is that monitoring and reporting on their own conduct is another way for governments to ignore their human rights obligations. Since 2017, ITK has insisted that legislation implementing the UN Declaration must include the creation of an independent Indigenous Human Rights Commission. ITK's position is consistent with Call for Justice 1.7 of the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls. It calls for the creation of a National Indigenous and Human Rights Ombudsperson with authority in all jurisdictions and to establish a national Indigenous and Human Rights Tribunal. An Indigenous Human Rights Commission would be responsible for monitoring federal compliance with the rights affirmed by the UN Declaration and overseeing the promotion of those rights nationally. Similar to the Canadian Human Rights Commission, it would be empowered to conduct investigations of federal departments and institutions and send discrimination-related complaints to the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal for further examination. Share this video, talk with your leaders, email your MPs, and ask that federal legislation to implement the UN Declaration be meaningfully co-developed with Indigenous peoples and include measures to create an Indigenous Human Rights Commission. Nakumik.